बिस्मिल्लाम अस्सलाम वालेकुम इट हैज़ बीन टेन इयर्स सिंस द चाइना पाकिस्तान इकोनॉमिक कॉरिडोर द मल्टी बिलियन डॉलर फ्लैगशिप प्रोजेक्ट अंडर प्रेसिडेंट जी जिन पिंग वन पॉइंट फोर ट्रिलियन डॉलर बेल्ट एंड रोड इनिशियटिव वॉज लॉन्च द जैगेंटिक बी आर आई प्रोग्राम इलेवन टाइम्स द साइज ऑफ द मार्शल प्लान दैट रिबिल्ट यूरोप फ्राम द रोइंस ऑफ वर्ल्ड वॉर टू एम्स टू रिवाइव द फेबल्ड सिल्क रोड थ्रू न्यू रोड्स हाई स्पीड रेल पावर प्लांट्स पाइपलाइंस पोर्ट्स एंड एयरपोर्ट्स एंड टेली कम्यूनिकेशन लिंक्स टू बूस्ट ट्रेड विद सिक्सटी कंट्रीज इन एशिया यूरोप द मिडल ईस्ट एंड नॉर्थ अफ्रीका द बी आर आई हैज़ बीन डिस्क्राइब बाई फॉर्मर यू एस असिस्टेंट डिफेंस सेक्रटरी जस्ट फ्री मैन एज पोटेंशली द मोस्ट ट्रांसफॉर्मेटिव इंजीनियरिंग एफर्ट इन ह्यूमन हिस्ट्री बिकॉज वंस कम्प्लीटेड इट कुड कवर मोर दैन हाफ ऑफ वर्ल्ड पॉपुलेशन एंड जनरेट आ जी डी पी ऑफ ओवर ट्वेंटी वन ट्रिलियन डॉलर्स द प्रोजेक्ट इंक्लूड्स नो मिलिट्री कॉम्पोनेंट बट अमेरिकन एनालिस्ट फेयर इट कुड पोटेंशली अपेंड ग्लोबल जियो पॉलिसीज एज वेल एज जियो इकोनॉमिक्स एंड चैलेंज द यू एस लैट वर्ल्ड ऑर्डर दीज अप्रीहेंशन स्पार्क वेसफरस डिबेट्स इन वेस्टर्न मीडिया इन विच एनालिस सॉट टू पोट्रे बी आर आई एज आ डेट ट्रैप दैट अकॉर्डिंग टू दैम इन स्नोयर्स डेवलपमेंट नेशन इन अनसस्टेनेबल डेट्स थ्रू प्रीडेटरी लैंडिंग एंड अलाउस चाइना अन ड्यू इन्फ्लुंस ओवर देयर पॉलिसीज द टर्म डेट ट्रैप डिप्लोमेसी वॉज फर्स्ट कॉइन बाय वेस्टर्न पॉलिसी मेकर्स इन ट्वेंटी सेवनटीन to describe the chinese takeover of sri lanka's hambantota port on a 199 years lease after the island nation failed to honor its debt commitments since then the term has been unscrupulously applied to all bri projects including cpac cpac was announced in 2013 during the visit of then chinese premier li qingying to pakistan but it received a huge impetus in april 2015 when president xi toured the country the project was described as a game changer by pakistani officials which they believe would end a chronic energy crisis overhaul the aging infrastructure establish industrial parks and open up the possibilities of transit trade to china through gwadar port with the help of a new network of roads The $62 billion economic corridor further strengthened the decades-old strategic relationship with the two nations have described with a bue of romantic adjectives. Pakistan on its part hails CPAC as a journey towards economic regionalization in the globalized world and as a hope of better region with peace, development and growth of economy. The launch of CPAC was crucial for Pakistan for several reasons. First it came at a time when the country's security situation was extremely volatile with terrorists carrying out deadly attacks almost on a daily basis. Second foreign direct investment had almost dried up due to the rampant security concerns spawned by a wave of terrorism. Pakistan had not seen much FDI since the exit of Pervez Musharraf from power who attracted significant foreign investments in the services sector through his liberalization policy in the early 2000s. Third, Pakistan was struggling to overcome a chronic electricity crisis that stemmed industrial growth and triggered violent protests by domestic consumers despite the government's giving billions of rupees in subsidies to save their political capital. Fourth, the country was in the grip of macroeconomic instability marked by dwindling foreign exchange reserves, depreciation of its currency on the back of widening current account and trade deficits. Fifth, The country found it difficult to carry out mega infrastructure projects and make significant allocations for socio-economic development. Against the backdrop, CPAC especially its 43 billion dollars early harvest projects lifted spirits and expectations. Pakistan saw panacea of all its economic ills in CPAC, which it envisioned would a modernize infrastructure for long-term growth. cannot major economic regions with a view to reduce regional economic development gaps upgrade development with the help of chinese aid and investment upscale investment relations with china to promote exports and grow the industry and employment and form industry clusters although the cpac progress has slowed down in the wake of the debilitating economic crisis since 2018 still this gigantic project has yielded a number of road and energy projects Multiple highway construction programs are progressing on schedule. Power plants that have entered commercial operation provide nearly one third of Pakistan's national electricity demand. Having changed the situation of power shortage in Pakistan, China's National Development and Reform Commission said in a CPAC update on May 17, 2023, the Gwadar port, co-built by China and Pakistan, has made great progress in creating a regional logistics hub.
and industrial base in addition the construction of the first phase of the raksha ka special economic zone in pakistan has been completed and achieved positive results in business attraction the ndrc further stated this unprecedented economic activity created 236000 jobs 155000 of them for pakistani workers nevertheless western analysts say that while beijing and islamabad have ardently sought to control the narrative on cpac details of the colossal project including the terms of the investments and loans the full extent of the projects and the overall cost of pakistan remain murky the us department of state has also spoken out in recent months against what it sees as china's predatory lending to pakistan for possible geostrategic objectives it argues the cpac term benefit chinese companies and workers and are unsustainable for pakistan leading to its rising debt burden according to latest estimates pakistan's external debt soared past 100 billion dollars as of february 2023 and one third of this or more than 30 billion dollars is owed to china as a matter of fact this is a squid analysis of this project based on a uh, perceived fears it would be simplistic to look at cpac as a project of bilateral governmental investment to entrap pakistan in debt burden cpac has brought in chinese private investments in diverse fields a chinese consortium has bought 40% shares in pakistan stock exchange alibaba group has acquired a 45% stake in telenor microfinance bank Two Chinese companies will be setting up a smartphone manufacturing plant in Faisalabad, and China's Hui Coastal Railway and Distillery has started producing beer in Hub, Pakistan. These private Chinese investments have created employment and economic opportunities across Pakistan. Non-interference in internal affairs of other sovereign states is one of the cardinal principles of China's foreign policy. This is the reason Beijing has thus far refrained from meddling in Pakistan's internal policies or creating social pressure groups or influencing its economic policies despite being its single largest lender. On the contrary, the western multilateral financial institutions especially the International Monetary Fund and World Bank have repeatedly sought to dictate Islamabad's fiscal policies. Similarly, the Paris club creditors especially the United States, France, Germany and Japan to whom Pakistan owes 8.5 billion dollars have also frequently used their influence for geopolitical and geostrategic purposes having said that pakistan's ruling allied has to ensure political stability and continuity of policies improve security and introduce broad based economic reforms in order to reap full benefits of cpac which aims to transform pakistan into a prosperous regional trade hub